Hi, yeah, friends. Uh, so let's start with the problem solving uh, uh, that we already discussed about the nucleotide in complex numbers. So now we'll just pick the problems, and uh, uh, after that we'll pick some uh, programmatical questions on it. Uh, how we will solve that one? But that will take in a later stage. First, we'll discuss about the complete advanced calculus. Then we'll come into the program of program. How we'll write in the program in uh, the quantum and all. Okay. So first of all, uh, the find the maximum value of z plus two if Uh, we have uh, uh, given two uh, z plus three plus z plus one is equal to two. So uh, here, you, if you will see here, we have two state. Uh, we need to just find the value of maximum value of this one, and uh, the given statement is this. So how we will solve this one? Uh, to solve this one, so first of all, uh, let's come into the solution part. So uh, we have given here two uh, z. Uh, it's we have two z, uh, then we have three. Uh, this is an absolute of this one plus z plus one absolute is equal to three. So to solve this one, how we will do? Uh, so we'll consider this one is uh, uh, one. Uh, this one is z one. We'll consider this one is z one, and we'll consider this one is z two. So we can write uh, now. Uh, we have uh, two things. We have z. Uh, we 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 have this z1. Uh, we'll say z1 is equal to 2z plus 3, uh, 2z plus 3, and another one is z2. We'll say it uh, absolute value. Uh, this one is equal to uh, z plus 1. Okay. So now what we will do? We will uh, what we will do? Uh, so we need to we need to uh, if you will see here, if we need to find z minus uh, z plus 2 here. So what what operations we can do on this uh, z and z1? So, uh, if you will see here, if I am subtracting here, uh, z uh, z1 minus z2. So, uh, z1 minus z2. If we'll subtract uh, uh, this z1 minus z2, so uh, what is the result we will get? We will get z plus 2. So, let's we do do this thing. So, uh, we have here uh, 2z uh, plus 3. Uh, then we'll minus z. Uh, then we have minus 1. So the uh, if you will see here when we will subtract this one, so we will get here z plus two, correct? So we'll get here z plus two. So now what we will do? We will apply the formula. Uh, so as you know, uh, we we already considered this at z one. So uh, this one is the absolute value of uh, z one, and then uh, and uh, then we have another one we have here. Uh, minus operation, then we'll get two. So we'll do this one, and uh, we know this formula. We already read about the inequality of this one. This is equal to z1 uh, is less than equal to z1 and absolute value of z2. So now, uh, if you will see here, uh, this uh, if we'll put the value. Uh, so if you will see, this is equal to z plus two. So this is equal to z plus two. So now this is equal to less than equal to. We will substitute the value of z1 over here. So when we substitute the value here, 2z plus 3, and then we will have here uh, z plus uh, z plus 1. So uh, this is equal to. Uh, so when we uh, when we do the operation, as as you will see, uh, the value of this one is already given in the uh, statement. So uh, this value. The value for this one is already given in the statement here. So this is equal to three. So we will substitute the value here three. So we, here we have uh, this one z z plus two. So if you will see, this is equal to less than or equal to. So what is the maximum value? So maximum value of z is equal to three. So here the maximum value of this one is three. Okay, that is the uh, that is the solution of this problem. so uh, thanks thanks for watching we'll uh, come up with the next uh, uh, next problem statement in the and uh, next uh, solution for some other uh, content in the advanced calculus